Vida Friday is a monthly cultural space where we support and promote women of color, vendors and artisans. And so it's a marketplace, but it's also kind of a creative space. And it's really focused on creating a space where women of color can come together, celebrate themselves, celebrate each other, and really form community. Like right here? If you can make it work, okay. then yeah. Okay. <laughs> if not, then you can go right there, okay. okay? I'm a vendor, I'm an artist. I make art full time and I moved to Austin in October and I realized that there was a real lack of spaces um, that really supported myself and the kind of art that I was making specifically as a woman of color who's making work that relates to my culture. I wasn't finding that in a lot of the other pop-up shops that were that I was applying to. So I wanted to create a space that really supported that for other women of color. And so I had been vending with a, a friend of mine and um, she got asked to do this pop-up at Kababalicious. And the friend couldn't do it because she was planning on moving. And so she said, well, TK's been wanting to do this woman of color market for a long time. Why don't you come meet her and find out if you want to do it with her? So that's where it started. And we thought, okay, we'll do one of them and see how they go. And then once we did it, it was such a beautiful um, like moment. Like we all just kind of fell in love with each other and so we wanted to keep them going. Frida Friday is still very much a baby. Every month I feel like, is this market gonna be profitable? Is this market going to bring people out? Do people understand the value in shopping and supporting women of color led alternative economies because at the end of the day it is a market right it's a party space like there's a community space element to it but it's a market and so in texas you know women hispanic women latina women are paid 44 cents on the dollar to to cisgendered white men, right? So that means that these markets are really, really important for Latinx women, for Black women, for women of color in general. They're contributing to their families with this, right? Like this is how we're bringing in money to feed our families, to take care of ourselves, to take care of our, each other, and they're really important. We have to understand that this is something that has been happening for centuries. It's not a new idea. Anytime you want something, there's always an alternative economy that you can go to. A prime example, I think, in Austin uh, for that is like the pulga, right? Anytime you want something, you need something, our gente is there, our people are there figuring out how to meet our needs, but also figuring out how to be resourceful so they can take care of themselves and their families. And so when we talk about alternative economies, I'm talking about all of that. And this is just one cultural space that gets to, to talk about that, to create that space to benefit um, those, those needs of our communities. Last uh, Friday, we benefited the Lilith Fund, and they were, you know, they do, they raise abortion funds um, for women, primarily women of color. And so, you know, looking at Frida Kahlo as somebody who had reproductive justice needs and rights that she needed to, like, find access for, um, kind of gave us a framework for thinking about how do we want to build this event. In some ways, it was kind of just a play off of this, what rhymes with Friday, what well, Frida does, right? But it was also, it became a framework for how we think about how complex women of color are and, and what we need out of our communities and what we offer to our communities. Even though I get to be the face of Frida Friday, there's like so many people that are putting energy into it. And I think it's really important to acknowledge that. I like to think about Frida Friday as like the womb of what all the work that I'm doing. Um, so I think about it as like, that's a place where people can come and connect with each other and really get to know each other. And then from there, every project that I'm doing kind of extends out. And I think it's a really sacred place. I think that when women get together, there is magic, period. And because there's so many different women involved in it, I think the possibilities are kind of endless because they're actually planning the trajectory. I just get to be the like facilitator of that idea. Thank you.